India is an adventurous paradise. You head out for a holiday, which quickly turns into a survival situation. A dream turns into a nightmare. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm hungry and I'm lost. Shelter, water and food become a priority. A fire to keep you warm. But how? I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks to use in a self-reliant situation. Do not think problems can only happen to other people. It can happen to you. When you're out in the wilderness, on a trek, on a hike, on some kind of adventure, what is bound to happen, you will run out of water, like I have. And that's when you need to figure out how to find water, maybe a water source like this, collect your water, because you need to keep on rehydrating yourself. Because if you're dehydrated, you won't survive for more than two or three days. So what I need to do is fill this bottle up with water. Now I have myself a liter of water and I can keep hydrated. Can I drink this water? Sure I can. But should I drink this water? Definitely not. This water is stagnant water, is tail water. There's a lot of vegetation inside. I can see a lot of insects, a lot, lot of creatures alive inside. This is contaminated and it's out in the wilderness. So I suspect it is also a watering hole for the local wildlife. Treat all water that you find as contaminated. Don't drink any water that you find unless you see it coming out from deep inside the earth. So what I'll need to do is purify this water in some form before I can actually drink it. There are lots of ways like you know how to purify water and I'll show you another way I can make this water which has come from this stagnant pond how to make that drinkable. Let me show you how. Come with me. Now to purify this water I'll show you one trick which comes out of your first aid kit. And that is a little bottle of tincture of iodine. If you get cuts, bruises, this is what you put on it as an antibiotic solution. And this is the same thing you can use to put in your water to make it drinkable. So this is what I'll put in that bottle. Open the cap up, hopefully quite easily. What I need is two drops for every liter of water. Let's pour a little bit in this. Open up the bottle and put two drops of tincture of iodine into this water. That's one and that's two. And I let this sit for about half an hour, at the end of which this water will be good to drink. So I put this back in my first aid kit where I might need it in case of nicks, cuts, bruises, pierced thorns, and I'll need that to treat. I'll need tincture of iodine to treat that. But what has also found a use for tincture of iodine is two drops into a liter of water. Let it sit for about half an hour, at the end of which it'll be good to drink. Don't drink contaminated water. It leads to a host of unnecessary and nasty diseases and diseases they can happen to you. Learn to adapt, improvise, innovate and overcome. To learn more tips and tricks, visit this site. I'm Chandan Lahiri and I hope to see you soon at the OTS Survival School. Leave nothing but footprints, bring back nothing but memories.